Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by simpletut.com and today I'm going to be giving you an introduction to the new HTML5 um, geolocation API. Now in this tutorial we're going to be creating this application which basically displays a Google map of the earth and when the user selects the get my location button and shares the location the application will automatically update to display the user's current location um, and you can even switch to satellite imagery and zoom in and out and move around the map as you wish. Now this video is going to be an introduction to the HTML5 geolocation API. I'm going to show you how it works and give you the, a, a good understanding of the basics. So it's a great tutorial if this is something you're trying to incorporate into your projects or learn how to use or do. What I'm also going to be doing is talking to you about how you can apply this to your projects and actually take this to the next level. In preparation for this tutorial, I've gone ahead and just created this simple template that we can use to um, basically insert our geolocation app. Um, so what I've done, I've got here is I've got a div here which is going to contain my button which the user will use to actually initiate the process of finding their, their location. And of course here in this div we're going to insert the actual map. So let's go ahead and insert our HTML elements. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my button. So I'm just going to insert a button. Now we don't need a form, so I'm just going to say no. But what I have done is I've created a class for the button, so I'm just going to apply that class. And when I select that button, I'm going to change the value to a get my location. And I'm going to change the name and ID of the button and I'm going to change that to get underscore location. Once I've done that, I'm ready to actually proceed to the next step of inserting our map. So I'm going to come into code view. Now this is the div, uh, the, the div I've, I'm going to insert the map into. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to insert an additional div here. And I'm going to give this the ID of map and within this we're going to insert our Google map. Now for the purposes of just saving some time uh, I'm just going to actually copy and paste a pre-written bit of code so I'm just going to paste this. So all you need to do here is literally just copy this out um, as you see it on the screen and all this is going to do is prior to the user actually using the application clicking the button to get their geolocation um, it's just going to show a default Google map of the world and then when the user actually clicks this button we're going to use um, JavaScript to actually handle this and provide their geolocation. Alright so now we've got the basic HTML out of the way let's actually preview what we've got here before we actually proceed to the next step and um, and write the, the code that's going to handle the geolocation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to launch this in um, Explorer and as you can see what we've got so far is we've just got a very simple um, Google map here as you can see it's just showing the, the entire world by default which is fine and what's going to happen is when the user clicks get my location we're going to use JavaScript to actually get the user's location and pinpoint their um, location on the map. So let's come back to Dreamweaver and write the actual JavaScript that's going to handle this. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into code view and just before the closing body tag I'm going to um, just create some space for us to work with and I'm going to create our opening and closing script tag. So and between this is of course where we're going to write the, um, the code that's going to handle this. Okay, so we need to create some event handlers and then use the geolocation API to call the get current position method of geolocation, which is going to pass details that we can output and use in our functions. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to handle the on click on click function. So the first thing I'm going to write is documents and then get element by ID and of course here the ID is going to be get location which is basically the name and ID of the form button that we created previously um, and then it's going to be basically on click equals um, function 
and then the first thing we need to do here is actually return false because if we don't do that we're going to have some issues with the script but what we want to do here is now use the navigator method um, and this is actually used for um, determining you know different things like determining what browser that a user is using um, which isn't recommended but that's what we're going to use here and we're also going to use the geolocation um, and then we're going to say get current location okay so now we need to create a callback function which we're going to use to call the get current position method of geolocation which is going to pass the details um, of things like the user's latitude and longitude. So let's just create our initial function which we're going to call C uh, and you can call this anything you want I'm just going to call it C. Um, so let's write function um, and then here if I just write this out what we're going to do is one of the arguments we're going to be using here is pos which stands for um, position uh, and then what we can do here is we can just say var lat so of course stands for latitude and here we're just going to say pos coords stands for coordinates um, latitude and we're going to en enter a comma there and then we're going to say um, long and this is going to be pos dot coords dot long longitude and then finally here um, we're going to create another one which is called chords which is basically we're going to create one uh, which one variable which contains um, both the lat and long latitude and longitude so here we're just going to say lat plus long um, but we can't do it quite like that we need to separate these two by a comma so here I'm just going to enter another plus sign and then here we're just going to enter a comma and then we can end that with a semicolon and save our document. Okay, so just to sum up what we've done so far, the first thing we did was we used the onClick function to basically get hold of the user's data and basically their location. And then we used a callback function to turn the data into variables that we can use at a later stage. Okay, so just to summarize what we've done so far, we've used the onClick and geolocation get current location method. Um, to basically get hold of the user's location in their data. We've then used a callback function to actually get hold of that data and turn them into variables that we can use now. Because what we're going to do now is we're basically going to um, update uh, the map to display the user's uh, current location, which is really the whole point of what we've been doing in this tutorial. Um, now what we've done here is we've got a simple iframe. We've given that iframe the ID of Google Map, which is important for what I'm about to write. But we've also specified some basic uh, specifications about the iframe. And then all we've really done is linked to the Google Map. Now the way the Google Map works is it basically works with parameters. So all we need to do is enter parameters um, basically containing the user's um, latitude and longitude to uh, basically sh dis display the user's location on the Google map. We're also going to enter a few other parameters um, which I'll get to shortly. So the first thing we need to do is write um, documents uh, and then again we're going to say get um, element by ID and of course this time the ID as I said previously the ID is going to be um, Google underscore map because we're targeting our iframe. And then what we're going to say is get uh, attributes and and here what we're going to do is we're going to set these attributes. So we're going to target the link, so SRC. And then here what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually paste in the link that we have here because we're not changing or removing anything from this link, we're simply adding to it. So I'm basically just going to, after this question mark, I'm going to enter my um, first parameter, which I'm actually just adding to this um, link, as I said. So the first parameter, I'm just going to enter Q, which stands for coordinates. That's going to equal the following. So what we're going to do here is we're going to enter um, basically our 
coordinates our coords and variable that we created here which contains the users lat and longitude uh, latitude and longitude and then basically also what we're going to do here is we're going to say and because we have another parameter and we're going to say z equals 60 um, because z stands for zoom we're going to zoom and then i just need to enter one more and symbol because this is also uh, this is a parameter here as well okay so let's just return to design view and now let's um, basically launch this in explorer and see what we've got Okay, so it's uh, it, it's appearing correctly. So let's now just click on get my location, and it doesn't seem to be working. So that probably suggests we've done something wrong. So I'm just going to check our code. <clears throat> okay, so I can see we've uh, basically made a simple mistake. Um, we're using the get current position method so basically I just uh, made a mistake so basically it's get current position um, and we'll save that and let's return and let's now try let's get my location you're gonna get this um, notice here which basically just says um, proceed with sharing your location I'm gonna select share location then shortly after I press that. Okay, so as you can see, it's working. Um, it's pinpointed my location. I can even switch to satellite imagery uh, view. Um, and of course you can zoom in and out. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and thank you very much for watching. I'd just like to encourage you to visit our official community website, simpletap.com. This is where we post all of our tutorials, including that on web development, computing, and even photography, but much more. Uh, some of our most popular tutorials include building a MySQL user registration system, but we also have PHP classes. I've shown you in videos how to uh, develop your own responsive website layouts, content management systems, there's tutorials on social networking, e-commerce, and much more. But this is a fantastic learning resource, and it does not stop there. We also have a ask a question area on our website where you can post a question about this or any other tutorial or perhaps even a project of your own. We also have a blog and a freebies section which you can use to access even more content. Now before you go, I'd just like to encourage you to actually um, like our Facebook page because this is a fantastic way for you to stay in time in contact with us. As we release new freebies, new tutorials, we will post them on our Facebook page and you can even make uh, suggestions for future tutorials all on our Facebook page. But before you go, I would just like to encourage you to check out one of our latest projects, cssmenucreator.com. Now this is a fantastic resource for you. It cuts your development time and makes building websites even easier um, because what it does is it writes the code for you when it comes to CSS menus. You can select from our growing range of uh, pre-built CSS menus, use the built-in uh, application to actually uh, build your menu and create your different options for your menu, and then you can actually uh, install that menu on your own website within Dreamweaver or whatever web application you're using to build your website. You just simply copy and paste the code into the website and we have video tutorials show you how to do it on a step-by-step -step basis. I would just like to say that uh, if you would like to make a contribution to our project, then we really would appreciate it. There is a donation button on simpletat.com uh, which you can use to make a contribution to a project. This is also a great opportunity for me to tell you about um, our official website siteeasy.com and there'll be a link in the description of this video. This is where we sell a huge range of pre-built websites and scripts and offer custom web design services. Some of our pre-built websites include a pre-built social networking website, um, e-commerce, content management. Um, these all include um, free installations and we offer much more such as property listings or file upload. Um, so it's a great uh, a resource for anyone looking for a one-stop solution uh, for your, uh, your project. 
We also offer a number of pre-built PHP scripts which is growing all the time. Um, and these are applications which you can incorporate into your website, such as the pre-built user registration system, digital goods for PayPal, billing systems, comment systems, contact forms, and much more. And all of these scripts can be incorporated into your existing website. They're completely pre-built and you can simply copy and paste them and upload them to your server immediately uh, once you've downloaded them. If you do have any questions, would like to get in touch, perhaps have a custom uh, job, uh, web, de web development project uh, you'd like us to help you with, then please get in touch using any of our websites. We all have, uh, we have contact forms on all of our websites. You can contact us via Facebook. Uh, again, I'd also like to recommend that you like, uh, comment and subscribe to us on YouTube. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day.